Hi guys, this is Song, and I'd like to show you how to set up JavaScript ES6 environment in ASP.NET MVC. Now let's create a new project. MVC. Okay, the project has been created. And now let's actually, let me get the, the project path to create a package.json file. And then to create a package.json file, you have to run npm init minus y. Okay, the package.json file has been created. And let me install the files required to transpile ES6 files. npm install, save dev, webpack, babel core, babel loader babel polyf fill babel pre preset okay finish installing now let's add a uh, the package JSON file into the project because the file was actually created outside of Visual Studio, it's not included in the project. So let's actually show all files and then add package.json and including the project. Okay. And now let's move on to uh, creating Webpack configuration file for Webpack. Should be named webpack.config.js. And then let's create a file. Okay. This entry means uh, it will actually look into the scripts ES6 folder and try to tr transpile main.js file. And then the output file, the transpile file, will be bundle.js under scripts and build. And then here's an important note: uh, if you're using Webpack 2, you have to use, uh, you have to change the loaders into rules. Basically, this loader, Babel loader, is what's actually transpiling, what's actually responsible for transpiling ES6 file into ES6 ES5 files. And this test will actually uh, try to transpile only JavaScript files and exclude all the JavaScript files imported and installed by uh, npm. Okay, since we are actually looking for main.js under ES6 and the build script will be placed on the build, let's create those folders. ES6 and build. And now let's create some uh, ES6 class. basically a, a plain person class just that accepts name and age and then logs out a string onto console and now let's uh, create a booster file okay we actually named it main.js so main.js it will create a person it will import person from person class which is the ES6 syntax and that's creating instance of person, David, 20 years old. So it will basically say I'm David and 20 years old. If you look at webpack that configured to JS, the result file will be bundled at JS in the script and build. And this is what we have to add. I set it to shared layout. Let's add it here. And let's add a script on the package.json let's get rid of test and then we'll be able to run webpack using npm build npm run build okay let's call webpack okay it's built successfully let's run this
Okay, it's loading. Load it. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, I'm David, 20 years old, and I'm awesome. 